car, someone's driving it, someone's on top of the car, there's other cars and motorbikes, ATVs and so on, flying around and smashing into each other. It's a nerve-wracking experience. We spent months perfecting this and kind of putting all the pieces together and building this, this uh, sequence shot by shot, piece by piece, you know, moment by moment. Today I'm gonna to be taking you through a scene in Extraction 2, shot by shot, so buckle up. In order for all of this to work, this 22 minute sequence, it's not obviously one take. There's a lot of wipes, you know. The trained eye might be able to pick where these handoffs are happening. I can't most of the time. Sam's gonna articulate all this a lot better than I am. You just have to find like what, what lines up the most, what's the least amount of work for them to roto, or it's just finding that right moment where you catch, you know, catch gold. And so it was just me handing it off to myself in another shot. So now I'm in the car and this is a, a like a, contortionist ballet. I, I'm all over the place. I'm falling down, try banging my head, I jam my finger, but it lends to the chaos of the sequence. Now I'm moving backwards, shimmying, so I can get a close-up of Chris, and then start to push the camera out of the car. I see the camera's been handed out the window there. So I'm reaching inside, I pull it out, I have to grab it, so now I'm operating with my arms crossed. But I kept the car in frame for the crash. And there was a guy in that car. This guy's a built from something pretty special. The original intention was for the car to hit the pipes and then flip over. But for what you know, for whatever reason, the driver hit the button a little too early and landed on top of the pipes and they scattered in a much more exciting visual display. So we went in and talked with visual effects. Can we put something in there? And so we added the K rail to the shot to cause it to flip like that and then land on the pipes. And you know, it came out pretty cool in the final product. The real practical effects. Our special effects team was great. They did real explosions there. And so we wanted to get as close as possible and it gets hot when you get that close. These men are killers. Yeah, so am I. Yeah, we actually came back and shot this a few different times just to add in a little more interaction, a little more dialogue between the characters because you need to keep giving it context and no matter how cool and exciting the action can be, you've got to keep bringing it back to or grounding it with who's the character you're watching, what's his relationship to this, what are the stakes here beyond what you're seeing.